Hi everybody, Limits Netbook Guy here and welcome to today's video. And in today's video I just thought I'd pop this one up just to be fair and, and honest with everything. This is the Linux this sorry, this is the um, Dell Mini Netbook that you know that I have all the Linux systems installed on. And I've reinstalled Microsoft Windows XP just to try and give it a fair comparison. And as you can see, it runs pretty fast and pretty natively. Of course, I've had to patch it because it's XP Service Pack 3, which took forever. I've had to install all the drivers. But nevertheless, Google Chrome seems to run fairly quick on it. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. And it loads up. All my settings have all been automatically loaded into Chrome, as you'd expect. And it's not too bad. Um, bearing in mind, I'm recording the video. It's only got a gig of RAM. Um, I've also secured it with Microsoft Security Essentials and of course the AVG Free Link Scanner 2013 which is also quite nice. Uh, we'll just have a look at uh, the YouTube site. This is a bit more in depth than um, the Netbook one because the Netbook is uh, a new channel. So uh, we'll just again pop over to that. Um, and this might be a little bit slow because it's my internet connection actually. It's not the actual Netbook to be fair or Google Chrome uh, which runs just fine. As you can see, there you go. So yeah, this is all running really, really rather well. So this is what um, the Linux systems are up against. Um, a small, compact and lightweight Windows XP that runs very, very well with Google Chrome. Of course, I've got it uh, all Bing eyes, so I can do all my searches straight from here. Um, and go straight out on the internet. However, um, if I do that, then of course it's... Um, still going to open Google Chrome but it will use Bing as the default search engine as opposed to Google which is interesting to say the least. I've also set the desktop background as the Bing home page just to see if it did have any detrimental effect on the running of the operating system but as you can see with a gig of RAM and everything installed and patched um, actually it's not that bad is it? We can still right click the desktop but it's not letting me access right clicking uh, the bar at the bottom because I am recording however I might be able to do it that way no okay so anyway so there you go so I just wanted to show you that um, oh it is doing it now jolly good I just want to see yes I can I just wanted to open up the task manager and just see what the performance is like as you can see recording a video the CPU is absolutely flat out it's only using 540 mega RAM which is really really interesting hmm uh, so as you can see, oh sorry, that's of course swap, that's not the actual RAM usage itself. I do beg your pardon, that's my bad. But as I say, on the whole, it's not bad. But this is what your Linux is going to be up against. And Installing Linux um, onto the netbook, does it improve our uh, netbook experience? I have to say, hand on heart, yes, every day of the week. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Nevertheless, as you can see, Windows XP is installed on here and works surprisingly and quite shockingly well. <laughs> but as I say, with it being Windows XP, you're going to be exposed to all the vulnerabilities that ha that has on the internet, all the malware that's out there, all the Trojan viruses. Um, Linux, of course, completely avoids that out of the box and from the get-go. So there you go, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up. I'll see you all really soon for another wicked... Linux Netbook Guy video.